What's up everyone, Cam here, and today we're going to talk about the benefits of quitting video games. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to say just right off the top that we're not here to say that video games are good or bad. We're not here to debate about whether or not you should play, but we're here to share some information on what you can expect if you decide to stop. Now in my own personal experience, video games caused a lot of problems. I dropped out of high school, I never graduated, never went to college, I was gaming up to 16 hours a day, I was very depressed, very anxious, and even wrote a suicide note. Quitting gaming was ultimately the thing that helped me start to turn things around. Now it wasn't the only thing, and I also started to see counselors and got jobs and really began to do a lot of other things around personal development, but it was quitting gaming that was the beginning of that process because ultimately if I didn't quit gaming, I would have never done anything else. I would have never went and got a job or learned how to socialize and make new friends or started other hobbies like DJing or surfing or now traveling around the world. Quitting gaming was my turning point and maybe it is for you or maybe if you're just shifting gaming to be more in moderation, then you can also see a lot of benefits as well. Now part of the reason that gaming can become a problem is because it's very effective at fulfilling emotional needs. You can game all day long and not even really have to think about it. It allows you to escape. It allows you to deal with stress. It allows you to be connecting with other people. It allows you to feel a sense of progress and it gives you a lot of certainty. In a game, you always know what you need to do next. Why would you do anything else if gaming is so effective at helping you feel the way you do? The more you game, the more you can experience kind of a warped perception of effort and reward. By gaming you get a lot of rewards and real life just doesn't work the same way. I do believe that real life can be really amazing and personally my life now is a testament to that. But it's the difference in stimulation. Gaming is a lot of stimulation, it's kind of artificial, it's more of a false sense of achievement. Whereas in real life, I personally believe you feel more of a sense of fulfillment. And that happens because there's a delayed sense of reward. You don't get rewarded all along the way. and It takes time for you to really see your progress and just the way that we respond to that is differently. Now over the last eight years I've seen thousands of people quit playing video games and I've received their emails and they've shared things like that by quitting gaming they're happier, they're making more friends, they're being more social, they're getting jobs, they're improving their relationships, they're starting new hobbies or maybe even finding new passion in their career. Maybe they're finishing their degree or getting their dream job as an engineer. Time and time again, I've heard from people who share that they feel a lot more confident now that they're not playing and their mental health has improved and even their physical health. They've lost weight, they've got in shape and how much that's changed their own perception of themselves. When you're gaming, it's so easy to just try to find every shortcut possible to game as much as possible. And compared to not gaming, you have a lot of free time to focus on different things. And we know this not just from people sharing their stories, but also from a study that we did. So we had over 300 people quit gaming for 90 days and evaluated them on different criteria based on how it impacted their quality of life. And we actually found that they saw a 2x improvement to their overall well-being. And that was evaluated across things like physical health, mental health, relationships, family relationships, time management, their ability to focus, and even their appearance. I can tell you, if you quit gaming, you will literally become better looking. Now, of course, that's a bit of a joke, but the fact is, if you're not gaming, it makes sense that you would become better looking. You're spending more time outside, you're not as isolated in your room, staring at a screen, you're probably exercising more, spending more time with friends and family, and those are conditions that will help you just be healthier, and the healthier you are, the better looking you'll become. So I'm not saying by quitting gaming you're going to become David Beckham, but by quitting gaming it'll certainly help you maximize and optimize different things like your appearance, your health, your time, your relationships, and ultimately your overall well-being. So everyone's going to decide to quit gaming for their own reasons. Ultimately, you have to think about what your relationship is to gaming and what you want out of your life. I can only speak for myself. Quitting gaming had a major positive impact on my life and I'm certain that even if you take 90 days off gaming, you'll experience a lot of benefits, a lot of positive improvements, 
and ultimately whether you go back in game in moderation or you decide to quit forever, I'd highly suggest take 90 days off gaming, learn more about what your relationship is to gaming and if it impacts your life in a positive way and if it does, then the choice is yours, whether you continue down that road or you decide to integrate gaming in a more balanced and healthy way. If you wanna learn more about why you wanna take 90 days off gaming, you can check the link below. We have a bunch of information on it, but ultimately the choice is yours. So I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. Has quitting gaming benefited your life? And if so, how? Share that in the comments below. The more people who share, the more that can help act as inspiration for other people who are maybe on the fence about whether or not they should quit or if they should take a break. I hope you're all having a great day and we'll talk soon. All right, peace.